PowerUp Rem are a group of tags in RemNote that have unique functions. Just like tags, you type two hashtags to add a PowerUp to your Rem, and it will be displayed on the right hand side of the screen. You can differentiate PowerUp Rem from normal tags by the arrow icon that appears beside the name. There are quite a few PowerUps in RemNote, so let's go over each one. The first two that I'm going to talk about, highlighters and headers, actually are not added by using hashtags. You can just use them as you normally would in any document, using hotkeys or the bottom toolbar. Highlighting Rem will tag it with the color PowerUp, as I'll demonstrate here. Note that this only works for highlighting the entire Rem, and not individual words or letters. And after you highlight your Rem, you can filter your document by using Ctrl plus F. See, I can only see green, which I use to highlight this entire rem. And the same features apply to headers as well. You can use hotkeys or the bottom toolbar, and you can search through the document using Ctrl Find. Something to note for these two power-ups is that you won't be able to see the power-up on the right-hand side of these rem unless you tag it with another tag. For example, I'll add another tag to the rem, and now you'll see the tag icon appear here. This is a way to remove an unwanted tag, or you can also just use the normal hotkeys to change it back to normal. Edit later is also a power up. Type two hashtags, edit later, to add a rem to the edit later which you can find in the sidebar. You can also choose to add a slot for a reminder message about what you intended to edit later. This feature is identical to studying rem and adding them to the edit later queue while you're studying from your queue. The document sidebar is another power up that allows you to customize the toggled sections in your sidebar. It functions a little differently than other power ups because you don't tag a rem. To modify your sidebar, open up the document sidebar with control plus O and typing in document sidebar. There will be a box that explains how this feature works that populates on the top of the screen. But let me walk you through it as well. As you can see, the three search portals mirror what you see in the sidebar, that is pinned, drafts, and finished. Moving them around in one location will do the same in the other. To add a section, type forward slash search to insert a new search portal. I like to search by tags because I tag specific rem, so I'll add hashtag speedrun. And now you can see it shows up in the sidebar. To do's are a pretty self explanatory power up. Adding this power up creates a checklist in front of your rem, which you can mark as finished or unfinished. You can also do this by using Ctrl plus Enter and cycling through finished and unfinished. If you click on the to do tag, it will bring you to a document where you can view all the unfinished or finished rem you've ever created. This way you can keep track of all your tasks. The next power up is automatically sort. Tag any rem with the power up automatically sort and it will alphabetize all the descendants automatically. Very useful. The final power up is automatically add template. When you normally add a template to a rem, you have to manually add the slots yourself. But using this power up removes that middle step, speeding up your workflow. To demonstrate this, I made a template here called nutritional info with four slots. If I tag pizza with this template, you'll see it doesn't add the slots and I would have to manually do so. However, if I first tag nutritional info with automatically add template, if I now tag pizza again with this template, all the slots are automatically added. There are a couple other power-ups and more may be added in the future, but those are all the ones I want to cover in this video. See you guys in the next one.